Throughout our lives, we've experienced the unexplainable, from bright apparitions to dark entities, changing our perspectives on the afterlife. Now we seek answers and intend to capture evidence of paranormal existence. These are our paranormal experiences. The Ross Hotel The Ross Hotel was established by William Sadler in 1835. It was built by convicts using local hand-cut sandstone. The building has a long convict associated past, which has added to its paranormal history. Previous paranormal reports suggest that the place is a hotspot for these paranormal occurrences, with mirrors smashing, objects moving, and sightings of George and the little girl who hangs around the staircase. Although we cannot entirely be sure of any of these stories' authenticities, a stable boy who hung himself in a nearby barn and his servant girlfriend are supposed to reside in the hotel. Could George possibly be this stable boy? However, in recent years, the new managers haven't experienced anything strange. So, what happened? Were the reports by other teams exaggerated? Are the spirits still there, or did they leave with the previous owners? I'm staying in room one at the moment, at the Rose Hotel, and I'm about to lay down on the bed. I'm not too sure where the others are, but I reckon they're on the other six other or five other rooms um i brought spirit box with me uh a book meter and dvr i'm just gonna lay on the bed and see at first if anyone wants to talk to me is anyone else in this room with me oh don't know if that's a bit of dust if you are in here and you want to talk to me can you please bang on that cupboard in the corner when we got here, so that was what cup, cup we got here about, uh, about five, past, five past four. Yeah, about four. Um, had a tour of the building, um, and so far I haven't felt anything. I can normally feel some, like some things if something is here, uh, but nothing yet. Could be that they're just really, really dormant and they're not giving off anything. Um, but I suppose we'll just give the rods a go and see how it performs, see if I can get anything. If not, we'll just move rooms because we've got six rooms to play with. This is said to be one of the two most haunted rooms. Can you point both the rods in the direction you're standing? Towards the door. It's either towards the door or next to you. Is that any spirit here? You can come sit next to me if you want, chill out. This little green light will flicker if you need, if there is someone here. If there are any spirit here, you can come talk to me in this little orange light. You don't have to be right next to it, but if you feel like you want to get a message out, just come say hello or tell me to leave. It won't bother me. I'll leave. If you say hello, I'll stay. My name is Harley. If you're here in the room, but this device can sort of sense you, it knows your particular energy, what you're made up of. Now you can touch this device in my hand and it will, it will see how it flashes. Yeah, it does that. They want to know about you. I want to know your name. A little bit. I'm gonna focus. 
Do you have a name? Can you say it to me? Right now? And lay down. I do feel a breeze, but it is possibly from the window over there. So I might put the spirit box on. Hello? Anyone in the room with me? You can communicate through this device here. You can sort of speak through it. Have you been stuck here for over 50 years? So we're heading to all the known now to years. I'm trying to feel out the spirit, huh? I feel like you're a female. Why do they keep pointing that way? Nothing there. There's a point, but it's probably our sense to leave. Good point. Do you want us to leave the room? Well, I suppose we do just that. Do we have to, like, we, can we talk to you? Uh, is this the first lot of people that have tried to communicate to you? No. Any spirit to stay here, you don't have to hide. Nothing's gonna happen. You could probably do more harm to me than I could to you. All I'm asking is a simple hello into the light next to me on the bed. Even if you can make a knock on the wall or make a knock on the bed like this. Bit more clear. Now you might be a bit confused and not too sure how to care about it. Can you use this device? Yeah. Find it easy. So I heard so I just heard some random voices come through then. And as you can sort of hear, there's like nothing coming through. Like it's sweeping forward at the moment. There's nothing coming through. I think I might have heard you. Do you reckon you can do it again, say something? Are you male or female? Yeah, I'm feeling a cold breeze roll over my hands and legs. So uh, you're, you're in the room with me, but you just can't communicate. You're finding it very difficult. Do you need some sort of... You need to be energised. Need food. Can you say, I need food or I need energy to communicate? Oh, said something. Oh, said something. What's that, sorry? What's that, sorry? Was that other lot of people that tried to contact you disrespectful towards you? Were they disrespectful to you? Are you giving us the silent treatment? You want us to leave? No. Yes. What? Alright then. That's fair enough. Ooh, just on your hand, you said. Did you just touch me? Or is that my imagination? It probably is just my imagination. Still so feel like something touched one of my knuckles, like in between um, my knuckles.
like like do you like me I've only got to choose at the moment Do you have a name? If you like me, can you tell me your name? Are you afraid of me? Wrapping up our individual investigations, we focus on room four and five. All right, we're in room four at the moment, and it's Sam not. and Ben and Harley have said they've come into contact with a lady who doesn't like males and it's probably had a bad experience with males. So we're going to be in here trying to communicate with her and see if we can help her out and just talk to her in general. The lady I was talking with a couple of minutes ago, so I'd be back so suddenly. But this is Stan. Uh, he's another one of our guys that are respectful and... Um, yep. Is it alright if we talk to you? Do you feel better about talking to us? Yes? Cool. Is there any spirits in the room? Open the rods for yes or cross them over for no? No. Can you use both the rods please and point to where you are in the room? No. Can you please use both of the rods to point to where you are in the room? Um, oh, behind. Are you behind Sam? Well, they kind of slop, so they could be on your side of the room. <laughs> Can you point to where you are in the room at the moment, if that's okay? With the rods. Is that near the door corner area? That's where it was pointing before. Oh, okay, cool. Do you want to tell us your name? No? Oh, rec ending recording. Two minutes recording. Why have you... Nothing. Does so she want some energy to communicate? Um, would you like some energy to communicate? No. See what I mean? It's small, dormant, and like just nothing really type thing. It's like they're there, well, this one so far, we've only found one, but they're more just really dormant. Are you on my le uh, right hand side? Oh, wow. They're actually opening up. Hey, thank you. So we Are you a male? No. Are you a female? No, that was a bigger no than the other one. Can you use both the rods and follow Harley's finger through the air? You can draw on my energy if you need. And Harley's too. Okay. Didn't the owner say something about um, the lady or the cleaner seeing the woman? Have you ever shown yourself to people before that have been in this room? Are you... Are you real? This is different. Who just feels calm? It's like... Can, the, can you point to where you are in the room again?
keeps pointing there. The only reason I keep sort of double checking with other questions and sort of backing it up is because I want to see what she says to the same question but phrase a different way. Yeah, that's good. Well, we'll try the the question I asked before. Are you a male? So it's going for yes. And the other one. I work on the other one. Use all my energy. As Harley and Sam continued their investigation in room 5, Ben and myself decided to go downstairs and check out to see if the little girl was present in the stairway. However, we didn't capture anything at the time. But, moments later when we went to join Sam and Harley back in room 5, a voice is captured on the stairway camera, responding to one of my questions. Room three, and it's about 11 o'clock or so, about 11. So, is anyone in here in the room with us? We use the rods and the Sam's hand. For around 25 minutes, we attempted to communicate with the spirit inside room five. However, we did not get any responses until we started to take off our protection. Is that going to be easy for you to communicate with us? Whoa, it's, it's going straight away now. Does so your name start between R to Z? It's going to be yes as well. Is your name Zozo? Oh, that's man. That can't be right. It's not. You put it, you pick yours out and don't. It's but just weird though, we took... It right. went from just saying a lot of no's to a lot of yeses now, but it said no before, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. We took our protection off. Then we, started, Zozo? then we started the interaction. Zozo's a demon. Are you a demon? No, and no. Alright. So no, thank you. Just I keep getting sure. massive drafts. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, my oh, leg. Is it, is it from there? Is that window shut? No, because the candle would be flickering like mad if it was dry. It keeps coming from here. I oh, know, my feet are f***ing freezing. And I keep getting chills. It's so... Oh. Can you point to where you are in the room? We get more drafts again. Is that like right in front then? Or is it... That's, that's where I'm feeling the, the draft too. Yeah, like, it's, it's here. Okay, so this is like the late night uh, live stream and we've been investigating here for a few hours now and it's been relatively quiet. Um, but we just had a strange occurrence where I went to the toilet right here, so right here, if you can see it. And I came out, Harley went in, and then yeah, someone went after you, and you turned all the lights and stuff off. Yeah, yeah I turned everything off. And then we're like, oh, I wonder who that was. I wonder who went to the toilet, because they have to go past us, because we've got most of this building. The only two guests are down here. They have to go past the doors. So our room's there, and we're in room five and four. They have to go past us to get out. So when we, so we'd see, and we had all the doors open, because we were just figuring out how to get the connect working and stuff. Um, but no one ever came out of the toilet, so we're like, oh, okay, that's a bit strange. I wonder if they're all right, see if anyone's up there. So we came back around here, and the light was on, because we turned the light off, Harley turned the light off, and the light was on, and we thought it was taken, so we knocked on the door, no one's there, opened the door, and the toilet door and stuff was all open. Um, so, and the light was on still, so we don't know what's going on there. There have been stories and stuff that, uh, the lights and stuff do turn on and off, so we're not entirely sure what's going on there. Oh, you're getting a bit of action now. Is it actually opening? Yeah. Is that you who turned the toilet light on? Oh, yep. That's a bit. It's a better one. I suppose that's a yes. 
Um, if there is anybody here, you can communicate through either this device or the one in my hand with the light. Can you say your name or just say hello, something simple? Continuing, we investigated throughout the night, but we could not capture anything else that was paranormal or unexplained. The Ross Hotel was relatively quiet, however we do believe that there is some form of haunting going on, and that another investigation may give us more answers.